Hey everybody, today we're installing a hitching post. Well, it's already installed and you see why I didn't get it on video. This is what I was up against the whole time trying to put this in. These girls over here wanting to be right up underneath my feet like a little kid. And so it was hard to video it and I couldn't, it was just too much to do. And then I had these guys over here on the other side of me. But what I got is I've got some three inch pipe that has quarter inch thick wall. And this stuff was built in 1977. I should have gotten every bit of it when I had the opportunity, but I didn't. Back up, back up. What we did is we just mitered it and welded it all right, so it's seven feet wide and it's seven feet high. Three feet of it's in the ground, four foot of it's exposed. Secondary area to do farrier work or um, vet work or that type of stuff. So this is where the new barn is. And you can see the post hole digger that we use to auger these in. But the reason it's on the fence like this is because in a pinch, I can tie up horses on the other side and they can just go through it. They won't be there permanently because the fence is there, but you can see it's plenty pliable. It's got a lot of slack and a lot of forgiveness, but it, they'll be tied up from this side. Of Once the concrete cures, we'll backfill the holes and then we'll be able to start using it. Um, with the babies, I need to train them to stand for extended periods of time, and I've been tying them to the fence, to the uh, verticals, and it's just been uh, too worrisome that they're gonna pull the fence out. They're not gonna pull this out, and they're not gonna break it. So um, this will be a nice tool for training them how to stand for extended periods of time until I get the tie stalls built um, in the barn. So I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you on the next one.